Hey everyone, back here with the D4506 switch tractor. I had a viewer ask for a quick rundown of the just the high-level filters because um, they just picked up one of these tractors and wanted to run through and do some work on it. So, so I'll give a quick rundown of the filters uh, used on this tractor. All right, so your main heart of what you're going to be working on on the right-hand side of the tractor is right here. So up top, you have your fuel filter. Um, I have a separate video where I detail... Um, replacing that filter and priming the pump and all that. So I'll drop a link below to that, uh, right below it. You have your engine oil filter. Uh, these two filters that are on here right now are Napa Gold because I bought a bunch of them. But, uh, you know, like most things like this, you know, it's a fairly universal filter. And there's, you know, tons and tons of um, part numbers that cross-reference to that. So I'll try to drop some links below um, to where you can pick up uh, a filter, at least point you to some resources to get them. So that's, that's your real lifeblood there for the engine uh, fluids. Air filters are nice since no tools to get to them. Just take this little quarter turn lever there, pull that out. And you have two elements here. So here's a big fat outer element here. Um, this is the one that you can knock out and um, spray with compressed air um, to, to clean it out. So it says not more than five bars. So I figure what that is in a PSI. I'll put a, put a note on the video before I publish it. So actually I'll set that aside and knock that thing out since I haven't done that yet this year. So this inner cartridge that you see here is what's, uh, you know, the, the inner filter, or sometimes I think I've heard it called the safety filter. Um, so that is a felt cartridge. It is not serviceable. Um, it says don't attempt to clean it or do anything with it um, for maintenance wise. And basically it says, you know, replace that every 2000 hours of operation or if um, your yellow um, indicator comes on in the dash that you have a dirty air filter, and you've gone ahead and cleaned this and replaced, um, cleaned to replace this filter, and that yellow light still keeps coming on, um, it says it's time to go ahead and replace that inner um, felt filter there. So yeah, don't don't attempt to, to clean that with compressed air or anything. Yeah, I've not replaced this one yet on the tractor. Um, so far, I've been fine. It'll probably be coming up here in the next year or so, though. All right, so I'm going to clean that before I put it back, back together. And then the last filter, at least that I'm aware of, is for the hydraulic oil um, that sits inside of this little house here. You pull those three uh, screws out, and then there's like a, I've taken it out before, but it's like a, I don't know, maybe three, four inches tall, a cartridge filter um, that slides down in there. Coming up here soon, I wanna do a full hydraulic oil change on this tractor. So at that time, I will go ahead and order that filter and uh, make a video of how to change the tractor. All right, so hopefully that uh, is the quick rundown of all the major um, filters that need servicing. If you picked up one of these tractors, if you have any other questions on the tractor, by all means, please post a comment below. I'll do my best to make a video for you, and best of luck working on your tractor. Have a good one. Take care.